Hi everyone, I'm Holly with Missouri Verse Soap and today I'm making a batch of eucalyptus spearmint soap for my soap shop. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is add in the coconut milk. And I like that just to add it straight to my oils and get it well blended. I'm going to add in the lye solution and this is all at room temperature. Today that's about 71 which <laughs> I'm actually kind of hot because I don't usually operate this warm up here. I did have the air conditioner going. It's hard to believe. Second day of March for me today but I work up in the attic and so it gets a little bit warmer up here. I just want to emulsify this so that I have time to work with the colors. And go ahead and add in the fragrance oil, which is just nice and clear. It smells amazing. This is one of my favorite fragrances of all time. This one is ricing. Can you see that texture? Darned it. I can work it out. I do see little bits here still, but I am going to be stick blending more with the colors. So I'm just going to go ahead and split it off. And what that means is that the fragrance basically rapid accelerated on the spots that it touched. I mean, that's how I explain it. Somebody else may <laughs> explain it different. Um, usually they'll smooth out. If they don't, sometimes the, um, you have a little like, you know, uncolored parts within the colors. So I'm going to fill both of these pretty full. About two liters, I guess, for that one. I'll do the same for this one. Usually end up with about Oh, eight liters, eight to nine liters. I don't normally measure in liters, but according to my pictures, that's the size of my batch usually ends up being. So I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, we'll just stay here. I'm going to go ahead and add in some titanium dioxide. Let's go with that. It's not accelerating too much, which is great. I'm going to go ahead and get this pulled off to the side so I can stick blend it just a bit more before I put this pot away. To the side, I should say. Not really going away. While I work on the other colors. Because there was some little bit of riced batter on the edges there. It's looking really good now. So I'm... 
I'm quite pleased with that situation. All right, so that is definitely out of trace. So for these ones, I'm going to add in, this is, I believe, the sea green. And this one is Synergy, has a little bit more of a blue tone to it. If it works out for you and you're a soap maker, I highly recommend getting a the um, sample set from Nurture Soap. It is uh, so good for discovering uh, micas. So I want to still add in just a wee bit of titanium dioxide for each. One of my good customers suggested that maybe, because I asked for suggestions on renaming it when I was talking to her specifically, and she thought that this scent maybe would be good as maybe iced eucalyptus, and so I may call it that. That's pretty. All right, it looks like all the colors have, or the fragrance has smoothed out. So we're good to go there. This is a new to me eucalyptus spearmint, and there's always that risk that it's going to perform just a little bit different from supplier to supplier. So these are similar colors, but this one is definitely lighter and I really love it. What I'm going to do first is pop in some of this color. It's kind of a swirl. I did this with my green clover and aloe batch. And I just loved how it looked, even though that's an in-the-pot swirl soap. Okay, good. This is getting a little bit thicker than I'd like, but it'll be okay because of what I'm doing with it. All right, I'm gonna leave some of that for the top. Again, I'm gonna leave some for the top. So now I'm gonna go ahead and stir it. I do want it to be fairly wispy in this part. Now this is not a specific layer. I do want it to fall down into it, but it's also pulling that color up, which is always just really pretty. It kind of gives it two different swirls going on. And then we're gonna end with some of this white. I don't know if you can, let me move the mold for a second. So you can see there's still quite a bit of white in this part. Block it there for just a second. Sorry about that. So it was a little bit more of a challenge than usual, but it still worked out. It's always a bit of a panic, you know, when it rices, especially if you're not expecting it. 
There are some batches of mine that I do, some fragrances I work with, that I do completely expect it to happen. So I'm just going to kind of move that around just a little and push down in so it's not just a straight layer on the top. Just go smack this down. So we smack the molds down to release as much air bubbles as possible because we don't really want the air bubbles in it. That'll make little, well it's kind of bumpy looking. Not that big of a deal but that's why we burp the stick blender also. We're just trying to create nice smooth soap bars. I do plane my bars also, so that helps smooth it out, especially when a wire from a cutter, if you use a wire cutter, that will exaggerate those air bubbles and really kind of put them on display. So this is quite a different look for my eucalyptus soap. I usually have blue, but really it's eucalyptus and spearmint, so there's not a whole lot of blue in there. I'm not going to do a lot to the top of this because it's one of those that the, the guys tend to really like. It's a very unisex, fresh fragrance, but I just don't want to make it too foo-foo or extravagant. Just good old soap. Still pretty though. And just kind of bloop, bloop, bloop. I like it, I think. I like it. We're going to go with that. Now I'm just going to take a popsicle stick, clean up these edges. I do like a nice clean edge. Nice clean paper I should say, but it does make everything nice and coherent on the sides. So here we have the eucalyptus spearmint soap. I love how it turned out. Just one of my favorite designs ever. And I will see you back here for the cut. I am back to cut this eucalyptus spearmint soap. And we have one loaf cut already. And didn't it turn out so pretty? Love it. So I have three more loaves over here. And we are using the multi-cutter. Where are you going, dude? Um, just because the bars are completely uniform at all times, except for we do need to start a little bit further down. And I actually need to get something. Well, I don't think it's going to be okay on this one. All right, so. My husband does most of this cutting and he adores this cutter. Just adores it. Yeah, that was fine. That didn't hurt anything, just bumped my row a little bit. He just thinks this is the busiest of knees situation. And it's from Bud's Wood Shop. This looks so good, these bars. It's just a hint wider than what I was cutting at, pretty much. You know, it was just a single cutter and my little, um, my little block that I had tightened up was just a little bit of a thinner bar than these, but that's okay. Just loving how they turned out. And it's making such just a nice size soap. I cut at 1.25. These are looking so Good. I just love adding that color down at the bottom. I just feel like it enhances the uh, the swirl into the mold. Just looks 
so cute. This one has a good chunk of white on it. And then we'll go ahead and let's see what I need to do. I think I put it clear over now. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. See, I'm not, this is not a routine for me, so you'll have to bear with me. And my husband does split all the loaves. He was traveling one day and I tried to do it and it was so crooked. I don't know why I'm having issues with lining things up, but I am, so... We just have to roll with it, and he does the majority of the loaf splitting. And then does most of the cutting just because that's how he helps me out. Ooh, it's a little bit hard already. There we go. I grabbed that one. So, this is actually really nice. I held out on the multi-cutter for a long time and I do still love my single cutter. I just love it so much. But, I have to admit that this is quite a bit easier to work with. <laughs> I was a holdout. I'm stubborn. I'm a stubborn person. I like things to be done a certain way and then I just don't want to change. But, I admit that this worked out quite a bit. all these nice sample sizes. I love sending out samples. Samples make me happy. I, just, I don't know. I just love it. I love it so much. Whoa. Yeah, that didn't even work out. We went a still a fine sample. Now we have this huge chunk, but you know what? I'm probably going to keep that for, for my own self. Alright, so here we go. The last loaf. I must say, I am kind of having fun with this cutter now that I'm getting more used to it. Down she goes. Oops, I forgot to grab you. Okay. Scootsie, scootsie back over. Ooh, this one has a nice green chunk. Now the, the edges will be a little bit different because if you notice during the pour, that it kind of displaced that bottom color and brought it up the side. I just love how this turned out. These are just happy soap bars and they just smell so good. Mm. And I don't see any evidence of the ricing. We're able to get that completely blended out. So that's another win in my book. So it is very similar to my green clover and aloe, but you know what? I'm going to bring over a bar and show you that it's quite a bit of different color, actually. But let's see. We'll, let's finish our job here first. So cute. I'm going to try this again. It's because my bars are... When it gets to the edge, they don't really, um, my paper kind of curves a little bit, and so they don't have a real flat bottom. I'm going to go get that green clover and aloe. This one also smells so good. So this is green clover and aloe, and you can see the color is actually quite a bit different. And this bar has cured down quite a bit. And we did plane off the tops, I believe, on this one. So it's going to be just a hint shorter bar, but completely cured, ready to go. I mean, we're talking, this one's had quite the long cure. And so this bar will shrink quite a bit during the cure also. Mmm, it smells so amazing. Both of them do. Oh my goodness. I'm just in the mood for fresh and clean and citrusy and beach and all the just super duper delightful things. Let's find a really pretty bar. Let's, it's pretty, but not pretty pretty. Let's go with this one. So here we have 
the Eucalyptus Spearmint Soap. Possibly coming at you with a new name at the release. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.